Look at this theme, by the way. This theme is like f fine looking, I guess. It looks kind of cool, right? Hmm. Oh, actually, hang on. I meant to do something. There you go. So it might be quieter. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I had a problem where I was like clipping on all my audio, so that wasn't good. Yeah, look at this. There's sounds. Let's hit the button. Project Aces. I think I've played, I opened five for like a minute just to watch the opening cinematic. And also, I have a copy of Ace Combat 5. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Like, are we gonna play Ace Combat 5 immediately after this? I don't know. How long is this game? Don't tell me how long. Actually, how long is this game? All right, pardon those the last of my Rice crispy. Oh, snap. We got a start screen? I pressed the share button and nothing happened. Fuck this, play Ace Combat 5 first? No, <laughs> I couldn't do that. Okay. Okay. So I don't know why we're sitting here. I really like start screens. I came here for anime planes. You better fucking believe we're gonna anime plane it up. I think I'm having like controller sync issues or something. I'm just losing my controller every now and then. Hmm. Turning is performed via pitch and roll. I'm going to just a more realistic aircraft. I ain't no standard. I'm an expert. Voiceover. Let's do it in English. Subtitles in English. Subtitles in English. Whoa. If this ain't an ace combat menu, then I don't know what is, to be quite honest. Data viewer. Um, all right, let's fucking go, dude. Uh, this difficulty cannot be changed part way through. No, I'm just going to do normal. Fuck it. I don't know what that's actually going to get me. So does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? Yeah, here we go. This is what I'm here for. It does to me a hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Yeah? Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Flying's in my Even DNA. So, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense. The Wait, the Ocean Air battle. Defense? No, Abby. I wish you Isn't could see what it's like up there. In Cruising Ace Combat the clouds, 4? The dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Wow. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. What? Why? I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. The last war. Some of them war. have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's, that's how we got the parts to build our own plane. That now, seems when not I say we, good. I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. The I ghosts of Rosgreaves. Those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. Drones. A prototype drone. 
It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls Whoa. of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Is it, is it gonna land? It can't land? If it, if it can't land, you should get out. Probably not good. Dark blue. I could almost touch it. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. Erusian? That country's a whole continent away from here. Should have built the turn too. Whoa! You didn't build the plane to turn? Is everyone here? <clears throat> settle down. I, I bet we're not down. playing as that girl. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzhia as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Yuzhia. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhian ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sort it, fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units. Take off the, the tank farm. Craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. I don't think in any ace combat I've ever played, a person has turned into a plane. So that'd be fun. Yeah, this is so fucking dumb. I love this. Clown. <laughs> it's fucking... Yeah, let me fly with Knocker and Brownie. I hope Brownie isn't a brown person. That'd be stupid. Dude, I can just pick a plane? I can just pick a F-16? I can pick my girl Avril? Oh, I can't pick that one. Wait, why is there a star? I can't fly Avril for some reason. 
Dude, let's fly this F4E. This is normally like one of the early planes. Change category. Fighter. Multi roll. Okay, let's just do the. There's a star next to it, so. If they are about to be evaded, they will explode. Wow, that's fucked up. I don't... Aircraft, right? I feel like I need these air missiles. Let's sortie. Fuck it. Thinks no extra. Aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Okay, if you hear my controller, it's because I'm putting it on the desk because it keeps disconnecting and I don't know why. I think it's because I have poor connection because it's just going straight through my desk, which it normally does, I think, but I don't know. It's giving me problems right now, so I'll put it on the desk one more time. We'll see what happens. Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers income. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't Mage get all day two. Here. Mage squadron head to runway. Golem squadron take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, Mage squadron. I'm Mage 2. That means I'm not squadron leader. Trigger, your call sign is Mage 2. Verify and lead back. Mage 2, clear for takeoff. Your situation is tight. It's a hell of Hold R2. Takeoff. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air. Oh! Yeah, just disconnected again. Sam. Good then. I think this controller is just dying. Take off and form up with Mage 1. So I have it on advanced, so in order to turn, I have to um, turn and yaw. I have to roll. Like the harbor's taking a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. Stop the bullshit. Mage 2, form up with Mage 1. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem Squadron, it's go time. Whoa, Mage 1. Oh, whatever, fuck it. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They okay. Oh, if I can't see shit. Attack. Okay, no, Expect we're good. Worst and stay sharp. We'll go. Trigger, I'm your wingman. You fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. Thank you, thank you. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Oh, I did that. Pressing the touch pad. There it is, sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. Just waiting to be taken. Doesn't look like there's, like, I can go left or right through it. It's just if the whole entire touch pad is, like, one big button. Are you streaming at 60 FPS? Yes. I'm streaming at like a relatively low bitrate for 60 FPS though. Let's go introduce ourselves. So if it's kind of like grainy, I'm sorry. But it's worth it for the 60 FPS, you know what I'm saying? I think you get bonuses for killing all of the sh other planes. We're just going to, uh, we're gonna go for the target. Oh, this target's going to make Attack missed. Okay, so to read the help you read the menu a little bit. Target confirmed down. Um, when I get close enough, there's gonna be a dial that shows up, and that's good. That's gonna mean I'm in gun range. Mage two, targets in range. Pair of bombers. Traitors, stay calm. You got this. I know the kid showed some problems. Typically on normal, you uh need two missiles to hit it to kill a target. Two missiles or more, usually two. Fly under a bridge. Do you see a fucking bridge yet? <laughs> That'll probably just be a mission to fly low. Yeah, so if you have trouble loading, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can really do about it. I do want to stream at 60 FPS. No matter the cost. I'm going to assume that's going to hit. Mage 2, target down. You'll knock him out with your special weapon. Use it when you need to. Enemy bomber down. Nice going, Mage 2. Not too shabby, Mage 2. You still got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some pointers back at base if you can make it in one piece. 
Is there? Sky Keeper, okay. H1 over. Tally two bandits. Around. Do you look at that. It's a bomber and an escort. Oh, their trigger settle down. Is there a chemtrails button? No, I don't. I don't know. Break off. Mage one, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. I can get a cockpit view. Look at this shit. Can't see shit. Copy that, Commander. I've got your six covered, sir. I bet the D pod is the D pod. The D pad's like squadron controls. Gala, Mage, two new enemy groups. Shit. I anticipated that poorly. All combat groups. Are there any drones? Verify. Drones? Are you kidding me right now? Jesus, this is the kind of shit that really chaps my ass. It chaps my ass. We wouldn't know, right? Target is down. Attaboy, trigger. I think um in the higher difficulties you also have limited more limited ammunition, including limited gun machine gun ammo. So now I can just like dump my machine gun no problem. Especially if I run out of missiles. Yeah, they might just be drones. I think that's one of the bosses in this game. It's just this big drone. Thing. Missile. 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 I don't want to fuck up this guy. He shot a missile at me. I don't know that it was you. Alright, whatever. That guy gets to live. Roger that. Not used to playing an ace combat game. I have a request for you to fly a jet into the explosions when a jet dies. I think you I might die. Like if you if you hit the car, like the exploded aircraft, it's still a thing, like you could still get destroyed by it. Nice. Aiming so the thing that happens with in the cockpit view or in any first person view is you get a um, missile launch. You get a, a targeting thing for your guns that shows like where straight ahead of you is that sometimes you get in third person view, but not here for some reason. So the, the crosshair obviously isn't where my guns are firing. It's kind of like where the momentum of my plane is pointed or where the nose is pointed. It's not necessarily gonna aim your guns for you. See, it's kind of like delayed. To Gollum and Mage, job well done. All bombers are down. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Dude, all of the sounds, like everything about this is exactly what I want. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? Yeah, I gotta sign the boss man on this. Why does the back of my plane look like a face? Do you see that? Gollum Squadron, this is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What are the emblems? What's the deal with all the drones? Looks like a little smiley face, you see it? Column one, return to base and report for debriefing. Sorty is the dumbest word. <laughs> Of Eurusia. Oh yeah, we get a replay. <laughs> this game is so dumb. The situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party. We have faith in you. Good luck. Control. Do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Column Squadron and your wingmen are airborne. Take off and form up with Mage One. Mage Two, altitude restriction is lifted. Good luck. The carrier. Whoa. Looks like the harbor's taken a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop. Mage 2, form up with Mage 1. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem Squadron, it's go time. Yeah, you guys, Roger hang that. on, how do I display? 
You can check out my fucking Ace Combat, Combat Base Sky music Cooper. video. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Welcome. Trigger, I'm your wingman. Fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. Wow. Mirage 2005. You know, it's weird that they're talking about drones here because I expect that there's not going to be a lot of crazy planes in here because of drones. Dude. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier... Dude, this Albatross is so ace sunk. combat. This is so sick. bogeys were from Arusha. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhin continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. I got an A. I think your score is based on the points, so... I could have got more points with uh, more shit. Aircraft tree has been unlocked in campaign mode. You can now equip parts in campaign mode? Parts, huh? Yeah, so far this is everything that I've ever wanted. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on, I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian Army. The Space Elevator? Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhin peacekeepers, to mobilize and make dumb, necessary preparations House. to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Osean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. Yeah? The world was screwed. 20 years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha, paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Arusia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Arusia went from being a republic back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. As of 1 today, 
The second the declaration hit the news, Erujian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erujian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they oh, were shit. capable of doing what they did that day. Drones. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military. And not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erujia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. Ears. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force Base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. Oh, she's got a leg brace. Okay. I was like, I'm <laughs> completely uninjured. It is heartbreaking. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here Where do I get an inflatable I truck though? Plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. They found out and set the dogs on me. 